Hey guys, I am Nishan and welcome to Cybernetico. So today we will be testing the GitHub Copilot from GitHub in our VS Code. So let's start by installing the GitHub Copilot first. We need to get over to github.com, then open settings here, the option, click GitHub Copilot at the middle, then we have to allow it simply. Click save. First step is done. And we are using the trial version right now because it's free for two months till August 22nd. So after the trial, we have to pay $10 per month or $100 per year, yearly plan and monthly plan. So we don't need this right now. This is for after two months. Okay. Now in the VS code, let's install a uh, extension called GitHub Copilot. Oh, pilot. This one, this one. So we need to install it and it's done. So now let's fetch the suggestions of the code. First, we will print or let me first start the server. So these files are linked the index.html and the script index.js. Open the console. So let's First, print the sum of two numbers. We will add a comment and we will write create a function to add two numbers. I think this needs a reload. So let me reload the whole component. Oh, sorry, I mean, let me reload the VS code. So let's start with something simple. Let's add two numbers here. So we can write, write a function to add two numbers to numbers. So we have the options to press enter here and it will generate the code for us. See, wait, enter, press tab then. To activate that code, it's generating and we are done. If we call add function, it will automatically pass the values in the function body like one and two. It will go up in the add function at the top and it will add them. So now let me add a function to print them in console. So we can say write a function to some two numbers numbers and print them in the console. Press enter. It's generating the function sum a and b. I mean sum of a and b. And then it's generating this. Again enter. And it's adding console log. And inside we have sum of 2 and 3. Save. And we will have the output of 5 here. We can also do other than sums. So we can create to create difference, difference of two numbers. Enter function difference a and b and console log a minus b. We have to call it again. So difference, difference, we have to pass the values. So let's say 10 and 5. It will be 5. Okay, how to close this? Okay, not this. How to close this thing? Okay, local storage open. Mm, not issues. Filter top this that. Okay, let me. Okay, fine. This is fine now. Save and it's here. The five. Fine. So this is how we do it. And let me write a few more functions to demonstrate. So we can say to. Okay, not okay. Let's start with start. So we can say write a function to reverse reverse a string. What is this? 
reverse a string and print it in the console enter input sample output okay write a function so it's not perfect see we can say reverse a string enter it's asking for example so in this case if we had if it's not generating the code we can simply press alt plus enter for this github copilot to open here for the solutions it's generating so we will have all the options here to reverse the screen reverse the string fine we can use anyone here and okay right let's write this uh, write a uh, or create an array of numbers so we can also work with num uh, arrays and objects so it's adding the numbers here and to add the array of strings it will be this so we have also booleans like true false true false then let me write an object here mixing all these data types so we can say create an objects of the above what spelling of above above items in the array let's see what we get var objects fine number one saying hello boolean true then close first object number two string world and boolean is false then close the object then the third one number three string this boolean true so to activate this we can do what can we do so let me clear out this okay so accept this whole solution we can simply press github open github copilot or accept but it will only accept the first line so let me open github copilot over this and it will open up again like this we can get the solutions from here for this particular thing see we can copy this and simply add it here and see one is first element hello is first and true is first from the respective arrays number two is the second world is second and false is second and then so on we can also do or do console this object what is the name of objects objects enter okay and it's here in the console fine now let me do this so array is done now let me create create an array of colors from the rain bow enter and it's here let me create a function for squaring the number squaring a number create an array with square square of numbers from 1 and 100 fine it will be a large array but this is not it's not here so let me reduce the one two okay let me do create an array with the squares of two enter see we can also make it five it will be for five squares of five okay two is this but if i add five it's this of what is five numbers same this will be fine leave it leave it so this is how we do things in javascript plain javascript now let me jump into 
the react things so we can say for example import use state and use effect hook from react it's imported here see now we can say import the style sheet it will be imported app css which is the default if we want the name to be changed we can say import the style sheet index.scss or css and it's imported fine see so it's it makes our life easy it will not take our jobs so don't worry so we can say create and state create a state sorry not and create a state of create a state name with the type string enter okay create a state in react with written state in react name okay let me make it in a string then it will be differentiable it's not getting so what can we do to solve this first let me add this import react react from just let me add import react let's see what we get it's getting imported now create a state name with the type the name create a state of name simply fine or create a state using use state hook called name hmm. see this is now this is how it's not perfect so we cannot generate a state directly so we can say import or we can say import use effect hook and render it only first time component is rendered use effect from react okay we have to make it in another line i guess import use effect hook render it only the first time component is rendered see we have this dependency as empty that's why we are getting this so that's how it works in react so we can do things in express as well so we can say import course in express enter and const course require course fine for example let's say let's try this i don't know it works or not or it will work or not write a or create a mongodb model or mongoose model mong goose model with name and age okay it's not working here fine doesn't matter okay so these are things in the javascript and react and all express let's try in the html part so in the body or in the body let's start with the comment so we can say let me write the text first that says create a or an ul tag with list items of name age and email fine so make it in a comment or if we just enter okay it will work but it's not fetching the data properly of nishant 
25 or 24 whatever and email something like abc now press enter and it's here fine so this is the thing if we save it will be here fine 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 now let me create one more thing so we can write create an ul tag with class of none and list items as none list style items as none enter see it's creating this same thing but here the class is none because we're specifying it as class of none and style is list style as none so we cannot see our this uh, bullet text save and it's here we can remove this see now let me experiment a little further so we can say create and a or anchor tag with links from facebook and google enter see facebook is here and google is here so that's how it works if you open google it will open up google and same for facebook great so what should we do again next so hmm let's see i'm not getting any ideas so what can we do in html hmm okay let me try this create a form of the fields name age and uh, address enter form action falna index.php input type text and submit button see the form has been generated successfully so this is how it works the github copilot fine so that's all about github copilot how to install it and how to make it work so it has some limitations that i don't know maybe github will fix later so that's all now i am signing off this video thank you so much for watching please leave a like at the end this is the end so leave a like. Okay, tata, bye bye.